Hi, it's Free Preset Friday. In my last video, I gave away a locked on stabilization effect. That was pretty cool. Today, I'm giving away something that does this. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's track text. I tried to make the world's simplest way to add track text into your scene. If you follow the link in the description, you will get to a download page for this tracked text DRFX. Just double click that, it will either uh, launch Resolve or if you already have Resolve open, then you'll just get this pop-up that says, do you want to install? Just click install. And then in your effects library down here in effects, if you open that up and go to Sterling Supply Company, if you scroll down here, you will see this SSC track text. I'm gonna drag that right onto my clip that I have here on this timeline. This is the same clip we used in the last video. I'm just gonna go to the beginning of this scene and in this drop down menu underneath this viewer, I'm gonna come do fusion overlay and that will give us this little pop up where you can select your tracking area. I'm just gonna drop that right over my eye, the edge of my eye actually. And you'll see that moves that text at first, but then we can open up our effects tab inside the inspector, make sure we're at the beginning of our clip and I'm gonna click this button to track forward. And ooh, that's kind of new. I didn't do that on the last preset, huh? Anyway, it won't update, but as you saw, as I moved my mouse over the play head, you could see it tracking back and forth. And then I got this pop-up saying render completed. I will click okay. And then now if I turn off that overlay, you'll see if I just scrub through, wow, Whoa. that text, I will mute myself. <laughs> That text, yes, is about tracked to where my eye is. Now, if your text is too far away from where you tracked, um, it won't look great. So you can open up these text controls where, hey, you can change what the text is, the font, the color, the size tracking and other stuff, but also the center and rotation. If I pull up that center, so it is uh, much closer to that tracking point, maybe change the rotation a bit and pull down the size, pull that over, then it should be much easier to tell that that is tied right to that point on my eye. And hey, track text in my scene. And the only the big thing to know is this motion blur setting. I even have this on by default. Um, if you check this off, you might get even better performance, not on the track, but on playing it back afterwards. And you'll notice when I'm really moving on a little quicker, it uh, blurs that. I do like cranking this up to 10, although you can always lower that. If I turn this off, the text will always be tack sharp. Um, which can look kind of jittery or stuttery depending on the motion you're going for, but I like toggling that on. Uh, performance is still great. It's just text moving around the scene. Boom, track text really, really easily. One other pretty important thing to know is that you can always click this button here in the effect to open this effect in the fusion page. And the big thing that will allow you to do if you open up this group is uh, if you select the text node, inside of that you have access to the shading element tab. If I click that and come over to shading element two, toggle that on, I will make that just this, uh, maybe yellow, white, nah. I'll give that a pretty thick black outline and then uh, element three de by default is this drop shadow as well. And hey, now we have stylized text tracked into our scene. One more pretty big tip. If you plan on using this effect a lot and you want to reuse one uh, style of text, here's how you can create a pretty simple preset. We're gonna start by adding an adjustment clip into our scene. And on that compound clip, I'm actually just going to uh, disable this effect. And on that adjustment clip, I'm going to drag on a fresh copy of that effect. Track text, great. I'll hop over to effects. And actually before I run the track, I am going to go back into the fusion page, hop that open, come to text, shading element, and pretty much do what I just did. But hey, let's make it a red outline for fun and a green drop shadow, gross. But if I go back to the edit page now, I could always run this track or I could open up a power bin. If you don't have power bins here, just come to view and all the way down to power bins. I can open this up and come to uh, any old bin and I can actually drag this adjustment clip into that power bin. You'll see here, I can rename that something like Tracked text. And now if I have any other clip, like if I just duplicate this, I can drag on track text on an adjustment layer and boom, we'll have that same color styling. And then if I go to the beginning of that adjustment layer, turn on my overlay and move that tracking point to where I want to track, do a quick pass on just resizing that text, shifting it a little out of the way. And since I'm at the beginning of that adjustment clip, hey, just run the track. You can mouse over to see it doing its thing, back and forth, back and forth. You see just this time you don't get that black box outline. Render completed, hey, click, gross text, tracked in scene. So you've got super fast and flexible tracked text. And then you can customize it with advanced shading layers in Fusion, and then you can save 
all of that into a simple drag and drop preset using power bins and adjustment layers. I like this a lot and I hope you do too. Make sure you didn't miss my last video on that locked on stabilization effect. And spoiler alert for those who have stuck around this far, my next free preset is pretty similar to this. It's, it's the same thing, but instead of text, you can import a custom image. It's gonna be cool, stick around. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.